Assalamu alaikum dear friends, I am engineer Saifullah and you are watching civil engineer at site YouTube channel. So friends, after a long time, I am sharing uh, a video about my last interview with Niyam for the position of civil inspector in Niyam ETSD department. I will share the questions only because the answer of all these questions are present in my previous videos so you can watch it there so guys let's start it the first question they asked about qms that what is qms quality management system the second question was also from the qms that what is the difference between qa and qc okay after that they start technical questions they started mostly from the artwork the first uh, question was about the thickness of the layer of the back peeling that what is the uncompacted thickness of the uh, material back peeling layer so as per neom speaks the uncompacted uh, thickness of the layer under the uh, structural buildings are structural elements it will be 20 centimeter and the compacted will be 15 centimeter like for example when you back build an area in layer, uh, layer by layer so the thickness of uncompacted soil will be 20 centimeter but when you do the compaction after the compaction it should be 15 centimeter the third question was the about the optimum moisture of the soil that to, uh, they ask that if the optimum moisture of the soil is more then what you will do at that situation during witnessing the test so this is very easy question like optimum moisture mean it, how much the water the content of water in the soil so if this is more then you have to wait for some time and it depends on the value how much is more like if for example the acceptable limit is from 4 to 8 if it's 9 8.5 8.6 8.7 .8 so it's okay you can wait for a half hour and you you can do the test again but even cases 14 15 16 17 18 19 so then you have to check first the calibration of the machine maybe there are some issue or and if you can see also the soil if it's the moisture is more so you have to wait for that okay the third question they ask that why we do back filling so the answer of this question is why we do back filling like whenever we are going to make excavation we are doing excavation for some purposes in every projects we take some samples from their soil for the soil investigation report if that soil is not a good soil or not coming in the category of acceptable limits like not A1, A1A or A1, A1B like that so we have to do excavation for example for putting ten up to uh, up, uh, some level and after that we have to make back peeling with one layer two layer three layer four layer five layer whatever the required layer and with the approved material for the integrity of the structure the third question was from the concrete how many tests we are doing at site for the fresh concrete so it's very simple all of you know that slump test temperature test sometime air content test uh, fourth question was that if the concrete is delay if the concrete is delay and this is the last truck at site and there is also chances of rain so what you will do at that time like for uh, example if you receive the last concrete truck and it is delayed like it's 10 or 15 minutes is um, um, about the expiry time and the results of chances are rain and this is the last truck so what you will do in case if you reject the concrete and the next truck will become mo mostly after a half hour so there will be cold joint so this is not okay if the concrete is near but there is a chance is up rain if you can reject the concrete mixture or a truck and uh, you wait for the next one and there is a rain so it's also not good for the uh, concrete so the good thing is that if it's 10 to 15 minutes or whatever 
you ha you have to accept the drug to pour the concrete this was my answer and he said it's okay so maybe if there is any expert who is watching the video he can also share his uh, opinion on this question in the comment box okay the fifth question which he asked me about was about the precast that uh, tolerances of the precast which i have already explained in one video you can go for that the fifth question he asked me what are the steps of a building construction so uh, this is easy the first of all you have to do the excavation after the rep required you can you have to make back filling after the back filling make compaction and do the test after that you have to pour the pcc or lean concrete then uh, reinforcement for putting concrete columns and you have to go about that if there is steel structures about the pedestal or column you have to go for the steel structure installation if this is a concrete structure no issue you can go for the step by step for slab beams and columns and after that he start uh, asking in documentation that what is ncr and uh, what is itp what is sor what is internal sor when you uh, issued your last ncr that was uh, the question which he asked me in the video about the documentation what are the important document for the attachments for the wir and if the drawing is not approved but you and you visit for the site and you inspected the the work will you approve that work at site or you will reject that work or you have to just reject the document like wir what you will do it in that situation so i answer the question that it depends on the project situation if it start from the start if like that so we have to check the work at site with the fc drawing if no issue if it's not approved and the work will be go for the next step like if there is a steel you go for inspection of steel the drawing is not approved you have to check the steel with the drawings and you have to allow them for the concrete but you have to reject the wr and you have to write like a attach approved drawing and more comments the last question he also asked for what is project quality plan what are the content of project quality plan what are the content of itp what are the content of ncr these are the question which he asked me in the interview about the quality documents so guys i have uh, mostly and uh, most not mostly on all questions i have uploaded a detailed videos on these topics so you can watch that if there is anything missing you can ask me in the comment box or on my instagram i will try to answer your question and one thing i will tell you here that i am so busy nowadays in my project that's why sometimes i'm uh, delaying in this in, uh, on your messages in instagram but whenever i am getting the time i'm responding to each and every one thank you so much for watching my video kindly share the video with your friends like the video and if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section and subscribe our channel for more videos thank you so much